starting your day right. I think one of the most amazing things that we discover that once we've been a Christian for very long is that you, you and me, we can either be a blessing or we can be a curse. We can really help someone in their walk with God or we could hinder someone with their relationship in the Lord. Because sometimes people are watching you that you don't even realize that they might be looking to you since you called yourself a Christian to see if maybe God is with you. Because people, whether you know it or not, are looking for someone that God is really alive in, that they want to know whether there's really a God or not. Because nowadays, there is so much information being overloaded on people that they don't have time to process it. They don't have time to sit back and think, to ponder, to think about, like Jesus said, think on these things. Come now, let us reason together, you and I, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, though they be red as crimson, I will make them as white as snow. But he said, come and let us reason. In other words, let's talk about it. And so a lot of times, people, because of all this information being bombarded on them through texting, through television, through radio. And boy, has radio changed. Remember when talk radio used to be funny and not really all that serious. Now it's more like trash talk radio, isn't it? Or like the internet, you know, it used to be full of information. Now there's just as much disinformation as there is information. Or when it used to be that, you know, you could, you know, watch a video, now you have to be careful of what's on the video. <laughs> it's amazing, you know, that we have been bombarded by so much information. So really, because we have available that much information, we should think of helping others as opposed to hurting others with our abilities, with the capability to know what is the truth and to be able to share that without condemning someone. Because they're learning too. Whether they know it or not and whether they've gotten into some side trip or side theology or side doctrine, they're just, that's just one side on the plate. The main course is Jesus. That's where the meat is. <laughs> so focus on the good stuff. You don't have to worry about the side topics or the dessert. <laughs> it's coming, believe me. Imitate God's goodness. For you make him to be blessed and a blessing forever. Psalm 21, 6. God made a covenant with Abraham that he would bless him and cause him to be a blessing to others. See Genesis 12, 2. You too are an heir to the true riches of God from James 1, 9. As you mature spiritually and are able to handle your inheritance, God wants you to have an abundance in order to bless others in his name. In other words, he's not giving you more so you can have it. He's giving you more so you could give it. <laughs> Do you get it? Exactly. You only get it so you could give it away. Because if you hang on to it, it just goes bad. It really does. It's kind of like that's what mana was meant to be. You know, God was going to provide for all your needs, you know, by giving you mana that would come down and take care of you. But he never gave you more than you needed for that day. Because if you had it, you were meant to give it away. Before you get involved with your daily routine today, seek God and feed your soul with his truth for your life. Experiencing God will cause you to imitate his goodness and prosper in his abundance, not your own. It's not a question of prosperity doctrines and all these people that go out and try to get rich schemes, whether in Christianity or in the world, because frankly, as we've seen in the world and we've seen in Christian ministries, these people that seem to get rich quick, get poor quick too. <laughs> Somehow their little kingdom comes tumbling down and things fall apart, whether in the world's economy or in their spiritual economy. So as old as I am and as I've seen Major ministers of God come and go, and them that are high and mighty fall deep and low, and those that are low be lifted up. You know, trust in the Lord for your ministry, for your way that you could be a blessing to not only God today, but to your family, 
to maybe your neighbor, to your friend, to even your relatives. Wouldn't that be a shock? They might see in you something they never saw there before. In the end, they may come around to your way of thinking. As if you're not stinking thinking and you're thinking more about Jesus than you are about yourself. Because if you are, then guess what? Jesus will cause them to see a great light springing up in the midst of the darkness that once was you.